This would take me hours in Photoshop to do. FreePick just dropped another gen when it comes to Nano Banana. It took me less than 10 seconds right here, taking your editing to a whole new, extremely easy level. And I know people always say it, including myself, but people have been saying RIP Photoshop for years. But with Nano Banana being recently released, we're getting closer than ever before. Now, I don't think there will ever be a time where there is a Photoshop that has just RIP'd, but I do think that this tool like nano banana that name is so funny are giving people specifically beginners and even people on the intermediate level the ability to really not need these extensive or hard to learn editing tools but once i see how good this actually does i'm just blown away and i'm very curious on what the future is actually going to hold so for an example i generated this with a green car in mind but very quickly i now said change car to matte orange it did it perfectly. And one of the ones I'm so impressed with is the ability to change the text. Hey guys, <laughs> if you don't have a free pick subscription, there's a link in the description to get a huge discount. Now's the time to get it. What we're gonna do is go to Image Editor. Now in Image Editor, this is also where you can utilize the AI Assistant, which I am a big fan of. And now let me show you the original one. The original image has this image of this woman and the text is cheat code, very simple. Now the edited version, I just simply said in the text, in the prompt box, change text to quotations, banana. It did it perfectly. Let's go ahead and try this again in real time. How about I open up this tombstone one right here that says RIP Photoshop. Now again, I really don't think RIP is happening, but let's just see how good of a job this can do this time with this text. Replace the text to hello at the top and banana at the bottom. Now, the most important thing is on the right hand side, down in the bottom right hand corner. If I open this, you want to make sure that your model is going to be Google Nano Banana. Now, let's go ahead and hit that generate button. Now, this works so incredibly quick. Now, we can just sit here and wait and not have to come back, but look at that. In real time, I mean, that's impressive how quickly and how accurate it got this. I mean, the ability to change the text is really quite impressive. And now select done. Let's X out of here. Let's try one that's going to be much more harder. Now, if it can pull this one off, I haven't tried this yet, but my mouth is really going to drop. This one is going to be much more harder. Now, notice here, the spelling on her shirt is completely wrong. It's close, but it's wrong. So let's see if Nano Banana can actually fix this. So I'll say change the text on her shirt to quotation marks. I'll do all caps again, the way it is in tended to be spelled like this, okay? That is the correct spelling. Let's now go ahead and now submit this one, okay? Again, we don't have to come and revisit this because it really does work so quickly. And so look at that, just like that, it got it. I mean, look, now one thing I've noticed before in the past, the spelling is 100% accurate. One thing I've always noticed in these AI tools where you could edit the text, it always has historically struggled with the apostrophe. So after the Y and before the S, that apostrophe, historically, it's always been a struggle. That's no longer the case. I'm just so impressed by how good that this can do with the text. Okay, same thing again. Let me quickly show you another version. We'll do this one in real time with this vehicle here. Change the color from green to midnight blue. And now let's actually add some more creativity. Change the color of car to midnight blue with a purple racing stripe. Wow, now that is impressive. Look at that, midnight blue, there it is. There is that purple racing stripe right there in the middle. I mean, I'm blown away by A, how fast, B, how accurate, incredible job. Now let's go ahead and take things to another level even further. Let's go back to the image editor and let's go ahead and choose another image I was working on in the past. Okay, here is one of my favorites right here. This is gonna be of my AI influencer, Cherry, right here. Simple, let's go ahead and change a couple of things, both at the same time. Now one thing that you can do down here at the very bottom, bottom left-hand corner, you can see right now I have this icon selected that says describe changes to edit. Now, that's just simply typing in the prompt box what I want to be done. But if I wanna go ahead and do multiple things, on the left-hand side, select this icon that's called click and comment to edit. The reason why this is gonna be so good is because now I can specifically come on the image like this, okay? Add a click next to the area I want to edit. So you could see I wanna change her hair and now say this, change hair color to beach blonde. But not only that, 
I can add an additional comment. So let's say now this time I want to click on her wardrobe. So click on the area you want to edit again. Okay. Just like that. So now I'm making the changes based on these specific comments. Now, once you're ready to go, hit that arrow button and now submit this one. And just like that, look, already done. Look how impressive this is. Two things at once, both in 10 seconds or less. Now make sure we're staying on the new edited image. Now with the comment one still selected, let's come over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click next to her hand and I'm going to say she's holding a coffee. Okay. We're going to do that. The other thing we're going to do is add an additional comment and click somewhere in the background. Okay. So now what we're going to say for the background is change the background scene to a coffee shop. Okay. Now let's go ahead and generate this again, two at the same time, less than 10 or 12 seconds. That's incredible. I mean, look how good of a job it did. Now, again, it put it in the other hand instead of the one I clicked next to. Nonetheless, it's perfect. The coffee isn't pixelated. It's blending in perfectly. She's holding it. The fingers are not distorted and it's still maintaining her shirt and her blonde hair. Okay, now let's go ahead and try another image. Now on this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and select this note icon and at first, I'm gonna go ahead and start with just changing the scene. And I'll just go ahead and say, change the scene and background to a lively Mexican restaurant. This is gonna be such a great way to completely change up the scene, but at the same time, maintaining character consistency without having to mess with the characters. Look at this. This would take me hours in Photoshop to do. It took me less than 10 seconds right here. Incredibly impressive. Now watch this. Now, one of the cool things about this is that I can actually click and drag and move around this comment box to make sure that I could specify which object I want edited. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's on this margarita. And then in the comment box, I'll say blonde woman is drinking the margarita. Now, sometimes if I just say woman, it might just go ahead and choose either one. I'll specify blonde. Now let's see see if I can make her actually drink this margarita. Look how good of a job it looks. Again, that would have taken me a lot more time in Photoshop. Okay, now let me go ahead and show you one more thing, okay? Let's go back to the original image like this, okay? We're gonna go ahead and take things to a whole new level, but let's go ahead and summarize, look at the images and what we've been able to get. We started with this first one. They're in a the podcast studio, now Mexican restaurant. Now she's drinking the margarita. The ability to change up the scenes and maintain character consistency is going to be so incredibly important. Now, this time, I'm going to go back to my notes icon, and let's go ahead and change the background scene to snow-capped mountains. So I'll say specifically, change the background and scene to a luxury ski resort with snow-capped mountains. Okay, let's see what this can come up with. And I'm curious to see if they actually change the attire or put these two women in a different sort of a pose. And wow, look at that. Look how smart this was. It knew what I was wanting. It understood that the original image Okay, right here that they're wearing more like leisure type things, but it understood that the new scene was a colder setting So hence it put on the coat and the hat with them. That's incredible So there you have it another awesome AI editing update in free pick compliments of nano banana This really is gonna allow you to edit much better and much faster Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button I'll see you next time Subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star Come and get in my car Your dreams are never far Subscribe to the Mules Channel is so cool If it's the last thing you do Subscribe to Metrics Mule Yes, I got the tips Tons of prompts and